What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I am your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great weekend. It is Saturday, a little after 5 o'clock. A damn nice day out, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you're enjoying the holiday season. I appreciate you all taking the time. Not a live one, but I would love to hear your thoughts down below on this. And look, it's just each week I keep you up to date with everything that's going on. So a little bit of information here, but you got plenty from throughout the week. So go check that stuff out. The top matchups, behind enemy lines, all the things you need to know for this week 14 matchup. But right here, right now, let's talk about the elevations for both the Eagles and the Cowboys before their game tomorrow night. But let's get this bad boy started with the Philadelphia Eagles. And nothing has come out yet, but I'm going to jump in front of all the other reporters, and I'm just going to say that they're not elevating anyone, just like I had said the last couple of days, because, well, everybody's healthy, good to go on the active roster, and well, we're not looking to pay anyone when we don't need them. So I don't believe anything's going to happen, but it's past 5 o'clock. Uh, that stuff needs to come out at 4 o'clock. For some reason, Eagles reporters are just really not good at doing this stuff, so I always just have to kind of rely on, you know, them because they're the ones giving it but look one day i'll work for the eagles until then i have to just be ahead of the curve and just guess everything correctly so we're gonna guess here hope that it's correct if not i will show you who they elevate but here are the guys that are already on ir we know that no surprises here bradley dean evans johnson maddox mcpherson roger suspended so those are the guys you will not see anybody in green New to the roster this season. You see on the offense, everybody healthy. Dallas Goddard back. Let's go. Julio healthy. Whole offensive line, running backs, everybody good to go. You love to see it. On the defensive side of the ball, the same thing. Now, Shaquille Leonard in the house. Hopefully, it does not take him long to get up to speed. Take that starting spot. Shaq and Zach together. Let's go. And then you've got Bradley Roby, Kevin Byard. These pieces you know, all coming together here. This secondary only had a few games together. So, yeah, they've had their struggles, but I'm not one of these new fans that, you know, season's over. We should root for the Cowboys now. That's not my mindset. I think the Eagles are still winning the Super Bowl here. Very confident. And I do believe they will all become huge fans of the Eagles again after we win, like usual. So, you could see the special teams area here. No injuries to be had there. Don't need to elevate anyone there. So, no surprise that there were no elevations. Beautiful to see getting healthy. What did I talk about the last month here? You know, everybody jump and ship. Not you sickos, but you guys see them out there. The chaos of the media, all of it. But I keep trying to help them understand, you know, why injuries do it. You can't use excuse. No, context matters. Understanding how the game is played really does matter. And, you know, throwing horse shit at a wall and just hoping that it sticks. I understand that's most of the media content creators. That's their way of doing it. For me, I'm going to break things down and actually understand it. So weird, but I do think they'll all be huge Eagles fans after this game. Now, the Cowboys, on the other hand, a team that, you know, very fitting for fans like that. So if they're looking for a new team, well, our arch nemesis, it sounds like they would be fitting in that fan base. Now, Prince didn't find there. He was elevated. You know that we talked about earlier in the week, Peyton Hendershot was taken off of IR. They placed Sean McKeon on IR. So they've got three tight ends. Now they've got a fourth for the game, just in case anything happens, special teams work, whatever they're going to use him for, but just one elevation for them. Now, in case you missed any of the shows throughout the week, here are their guys that are on IR. You can see some big ones, you know, Diggs is on there. You got Van Der Esch. So missing some key pieces, just like the Eagles. Now, anyone in white here is new to the roster. And look, they added a couple pieces on offense, added a couple people on defense, but fully healthy here. No excuses. So love to see that. And the special teams, good to go as well. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. A quick one today, and I'll be back tomorrow. And I might just surprise you with a morning show and then give you the pregame show, but it's going to be a long day. It's Dallas week. I'm getting pumped up here. I wanted to do a live one. Maybe if I get home in time tonight going to get the tree do it ah there's just so much going on that i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it but i want to get pumped up with you i hope you're getting pumped up and if you are give me a go bird down below or let me know how you're feeling about this game but i hope to see your asses for that pregame show getting pumped up week 14 i cannot believe we're in week 14 oh my god like there's four weeks after this one dude like i Wow, 10 and 2 here. Let's finish strong. We're obviously 
we started strong. We're the best team in the NFL. If you ask the whiny fans or the media, they'll tell you we're the worst team in the league. But I am marking, mark my words right here, right now. You could save this clip, whatever you need to do, post it, you know, bookmark it to hope that you can come back and tell me how wrong I was because I'm about to tell you, you're about to repeat me. The Eagles are the best team in the NFL and they will win the Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts will be MVP. Whatever they need to keep doing to move the goalposts, let them do it, man. Just continue to laugh directly in their faces. But I hope you're all having a great weekend. Hope you're getting excited. I've been wearing my Dallas Sucks shirts everywhere. Dallas, uh, meet Dick. Dick is a Cowboys fan. And, of course, you know what the back says. Don't be a dick. So, uh, look, I've been having so much fun. Um, I don't know where this new fan base comes from. You know, oh, we got to trash the Eagles all week. I love trashing the Cowboys. I It's I don't understand these casual new fans. I don't. It's very weird, but hey, to each their own. That's why I created this show, though, for you sickos, the diehards that really love their Eagles, not just when they're winning, you know, and you actually want to know stuff about football. You want to learn. You want to understand. You don't want to follow people like Dan Silio and be so confused about everything happening all the time. I love you guys for that. So you sickos keep showing up. And I'll keep taking those haters to the woodshed. But have yourselves a great rest of your weekend. I'll be back tomorrow, maybe tonight, who knows. But until next time, I'm Jimmy Smith. And this is On the Road to Victory. You all have a great night. Stay safe out there. And as always, say it with me now, Dallas sucks. Go Birds!